In this video, we revisit calculating gradient from a velocity time graph. We already know that the gradient is the same as the acceleration. So, acceleration equals the gradient, which equals change in y over change in x. For this section, the change in y is 40 meters per second minus 10 meters per second, so 30 meters per second. And here, the change in x is 2 seconds minus 1 second, so 1 second. So the acceleration becomes 30 meters per second divided by 1 second, and so the answer is 30 meters per second squared. For this next section, the change in y is 50 minus 40, so 10 meters per second, and the change in x, time, is 6 seconds minus 2 seconds, so 4 seconds. The acceleration is therefore 10 meters per second divided by 4 seconds, so 2.5 meters per second squared. We knew the acceleration for this last section was going to be lower. As we can see from the graph, the gradient is less steep. To find average acceleration, we need to do the total change in velocity divided by the total time. Let's look at an example. The average acceleration from 0 seconds to 6 seconds is a change in the velocity of 50 meters per second divided by the time taken, 6 seconds to give us an answer of 8.33 meters per second squared. That's it for this video. Move on to the next video to look at some example exam questions.